Indonesia. Then it's very nervous. It's Thailand. Talon sweet. Kick off for Indonesia. A really important one. Harry, let's see. He can connect with Drian, Dimas Drayad. And uh, for sure, for Ramadan Saranta. Those are uh, to forwards. Mulana with a double touch. Remind him. If we got the pass to Mulana with that double touch, he could be really, really dangerous for, for the Thailand player. As you said, Alex, Indonesia versus Thailand, it's uh, going to be a very important match in the, the scope and the outlook of this group. Two of the strongest players we have here throughout both of our groups are going head to head. We're seeing Indonesia in the red strip and then we will see Thailand in the uh, all blue. So if you're looking for Talon Suri to try and repeat his uh, incredible performance against England here against Dennis Bernard, first of all, wouldn't be surprised if uh, Dennis Bernard has something to say about that, but you have to keep an eye on those blue shirts because Thailand attacking this left-hand goal looked to be finding success here early on. 15 minutes have gone and it's been mostly Thailand attacking as the goalkeepers the called rebound, in not. to intervene and the ball will come now. Indonesia's way, time for them to attack. Yeah, well, we saw more aggressive centre lines uh, aim for the Brazilian Juninho in this time. The Indonesian and Thailand players uh, with that really wide formation try to approach the secondary lines on the sides uh, with, the, with the right ball left by depends if they have defensive or no. But pretty interesting, no? Ricky Kambuaya, the box to ball midfielder for Indonesia with the ball, losing the ball. And now Dangda with the counter for Indonesia. No, sorry, for Thailand. Sarashap looking for uh, Bumantan, the left forward, left uh, wing, sorry, uh, with nice speed. But you need to figure out how to, to go through those lines and that seems to be a really pack of people, of defenders on both sides of this game. They're really congested in the middle. That's how Indonesia have set up their stall at the back here, at least in the first half. Half an hour gone, it is Indonesia nil, Thailand nil. But talent is really in the ascendancy here. We haven't seen, apart from that early attack, I think it was one of the first attacks of this game. Dennis Bernard start, start to really put his game plan into fruition. The Indonesian, of course, IFE League success, so he knows what it takes to get it done at high-level competitions such as these. And his nice Indonesian play. national team oh. are starting to play forward. Just not enough power on that yeah. three pass. Had a man over and maybe a cut back opportunity, but Thailand survived. And sometimes when you have the easy spot with the easy pass, you miss that because you are like not that focused, Harry. But that was a nice opportunity for Dennis Bernard, really close to connect that part that would put him inside the box. But, you know, you need to be precise. You need to be really accurate on your actions because at this level, you cannot have many. That's those one to score your goals. Five minutes to go till half time. Indonesia nil. Thailand nil between these two heavy hitters of Group B. Wouldn't be surprised to see both of them try and make it out in the other game in this group, which we'll dip into a, a little bit later on. It is England nil, Brazil nil. But for now, is there a final attack of the half? I don't think so. The referee's blown his whistle and it will finish nil nil at the end of the first half. We're underway in the second half of our, I don't want to call it the main event because, again, there's so many strong players here. We're down to two from Group A. We still have four alive and kicking here in Group B, but these two are some eFootball mobile royalty, and they're in the same group here at the Famer Game Cup 2024. We saw um, in the 2024 World Finals, we saw Dennis Bernard knocked out in the group stages. Um, as we're seeing, actually, just before half-time, Brazil have broken the deadlock against England. So Brazil won, England nil. But Dennis Bernard had high hopes at the World Finals, was drawn into a bit of a group of death and was knocked out in the group stages And once there. again, another group of death here in Liverpool. No? It's, uh, you know, sometimes it's important, not the draw. No? There's always... Uh, everyone is so good here in this competition, but between players, they always know who is better or worse. It depends your game style. Because, you know, these two, Talon Sweet, Dennis Bernard, they have played each other many, many times. So that's why this game becomes really, really complicated to face because they know each other. You need to be creative, find out something new that your opponent cannot expect from your play. So that's why we are entering in the last 30 minutes with nil-nil. No surprise, two biggest, uh, one of the two biggest uh, players around the world facing each other. 
And, you know, let's see if any mistake can define the score in this score. But looks mm. now with the ball. Good yes, he's a wonderful one. Dennis Dennis Bernard. Bernard. Takes it on his chest. And wow, what a goal for Indonesia. Dennis Bernard scores his first goal here in the Fania Game Cup here in Liverpool. That is a wonderfully worked goal, Alex. He takes it on his chest so well. And then the finish, sublime. Harry, it's not just a goal, it's a, one of the most difficult chances or action to perform because that low through pass, we have seen trying many, many times from, uh, I don't know, from the Peruvian, from the Japanese, but it's the very first one performing in a perfect moment with a draw, putting the lead for Dennis Bernard, perfect timing. Look at the calm to control the ball with Dream Astraya. The rematch Raya is, is, is a good striker with good speed, but it's not that good in terms of skill. He only got first time shot, but even with that, he preferred to control rather than look for the first time shot. Wonderful play. Now the pressure for the man from Thailand, for Talon Sweden, has to react. Big, big goal for Dennis Bernard, proving why he's one of the favorites here after losing his first match against Brazil. To score, the first goal in this match against the group leader, or was the group leader until quite recently, Talon Sui of Thailand. Now he's on the back foot for the first time here in Group B. We're now seeing Indonesia really starting to grow in confidence elsewhere. Brazil have scored a second against England. Oh, wonderful pass, Kambuaya looking for Drayat. There's no. And we see a little bit Talon Sui losing the position of his defender because, you know, he is going for the win. He needs to score a, a lesser draw to secure at least one point that will be really positive seeing the actual situation, Harry. But you look, time is running. Only 10 minutes left. 10 minutes to go for Talon to try and get an equaliser. Oh, that's off the corner of the woodwork. Tried to curl it in that top left. That's difficult to do. And it's still alive here for Thailand. Can Talon maybe find himself an equaliser? It's cleared away. Oh, that was a really nice one, Harry. But we'll see if he have another one. He have time? I don't know. We'll see. Of course, finished second in his group at the World Finals, did Talon. So he definitely has that never-say-die attitude. But Dennis Bernard is a tough cookie to break down. Last chance Probably of the, the, last one. Of the yes. game, maybe. Maybe there might be one more coming Talon's way, but there's not been too much break only in the play, one. so only one minute, and he's lost the yes, ball. Dennis will Bernard be. will clear the ball up the pitch, and this will be the final action of Indonesia versus Thailand. Dennis Bernard with three points on the board against, well, going into it, he was the group leader. Well, now he's well and truly in with the rest of the Sharks here in Group B.